All right, playing the percentages, we're looking at Cam Smith this week. What's two or three things that Cam does in the setup position that can help a lot of golfers out there? So we're going to talk about the armpit line. So a line extended down from the back of the armpit straight into the ground, how that can help with posture and with actual balance points. We're going to talk about the back. So should we have this back dead straight or can we have a little curve here in the lower part and the upper part? And how much is excessive curve? And lastly, we're going to talk about the arms. So should the arms be hanging straight down or is it okay to have the upper arm a little bit in on the chest and then the lower forearm extending out with the handle of the golf club? So these th three things we're going to talk about in more detail in the rest of the video. Hopefully three things that Cam Smith does that might help a lot of golfers out there. All right, so playing by percentages, episode two in the series, and we're looking at Cam Smith. Now, what we're doing in this series is we're highlighting moves or patterns that players have in their golf swings that percentage-wise might help a lot of golfers out there. Now, we know we're not naive enough to think it's going to help everybody. There's varying reasons why, you know, what we talk about might not help everybody, you know, in terms of physical restrictions, in terms of body type, time to practice, availability, understanding. There's a multitude of reasons. But we feel percentage-wise, if most golfers were to get into these patterns or moves or positions, that it might improve their game. And even if you don't feel it would help, you maybe have an understanding of movements and patterns might help you with your own swing further down the line. So with Cam, obviously, you know, winning last week, shooting 34 under par, um, a very impressive player. So a lot of good things here to watch. And what we're actually going to do with Cam is we're not actually going to look at the swing a whole lot. We're going to look at the posture and the setup. And what we've done is we started off by drawing a green line and we've orientated or started that line um, from the top half, so where his armpit line is, and we've worked it down, just a dead straight line down into the ground. And what we're looking at there is the interaction with the rest of his body on that line in terms of proximity. So we're looking at the interaction with the knees and then we're looking at the interaction with the feet. And in those two areas, what I'm looking at for the knees is their proximity to that line. So are they very far away? Are they across that line? Or are they kind of just nearly kind of touching? And then with the feet, it's where that line intersects with the feet. Does it intersect in the toe area? Does it intersect in the heel? Or does it intersect pretty much in the middle of the feet? And a good grade, so to speak, would be, okay, if we have the knees kind of very close to that line or touching that line even, and we have that line intersecting with the middle of the feet. Now, this doesn't have to be exact. This is a guideline to help you in terms of your own swing setup, okay? So what we're looking for in terms of this is, again, orientating or starting that line from the top down, very important, from the armpit line, and just draw it vertically straight down. And then how do the knees interact with that line in terms of positioning? And then how does that line intersect with the feet? Okay, so that's the first thing. It's very important to understand that there is kind of compensatory moves we have when these postures or these kind of balance points get off point. And for example, if my knee flex was across this green line and kind of orientated in here, what you would see as a compensatory move was my rear end would sit more down, my pelvis would lower. To help with that, I would actually get a little bit straighter in my upper section. And then to actually get to the golf ball, then my arms would have to extend more or I'd have to move closer to the golf ball. So you can see how this would actually, you know, all these compensatory moves happen or trigger moves happen as a result of poor posture. So very first thing we look at cam, get that green line, armpit line, vertically straight down. Where do your knees interact and where does the line interact with your feet? Second thing we're going to look at cam in terms of the posture is how his back orientates. And what I mean by that is as we kind of like would just draw a rough line along the shape of his back here, what you would see is there's a few little curves in there, which is natural for a human being. So we have these curves naturally uh, when we set up or when we stand up erect, and we have two curves. We have a lumbar curve, which is your lower curve down in here, okay? And then we actually have an upper curve, which is your thoracic curve up in here, okay? So those curves should be present. Now, the issue arises with golfers when those curves become excessive. So when you have a big curve in the lumbar down here, and then a big curve or a big curve in the thoracic up here. So again, when you're setting up in terms of looking at your kind of like spine or your back posture, do you have to be dead straight? Absolutely not. In fact, that wouldn't be natural. You're going to have a little lumbar curve here and a little thoracic curve up here, which is absolutely fine. That's the way we should. That's a natural move. Just look for those not to get overly excessive in terms of their visual positioning. So again, not a massive curve here, a massive curve here. If you went excessive, 
then you could run into a couple of issues in terms of rotation and movement, but also in terms of injury, okay? So that's kind of another thing that we would really, really look at. And then the last thing we're gonna look at in terms of cam, in terms of setup, is his arm positioning. What I want you to kind of have a look at here is the upper arm versus the lower arm, which I really, really like, and we're gonna take away that green line to have a look at this. Now you can see with cam, the upper arm is fairly much straight down, maybe actually hanging in even a little bit, and then his forearms are actually hanging out. So I really like that positioning. And the reason why he creates that really, really well is he actually has a nice bit of contact between his upper arm and his tricep bicep area and the top of his rib cage. So he has connection in his upper arms to the top of his rib cage in setup. And I really like that for players. So I don't like to see the arms overly set up um, away from the body. I think that loses connection. But again, good players have done it. So I'm not saying you can and can't do it. But what we're looking at is we're looking at things that calm those really, really well that we feel percentage-wise might help you. So in your setup, feeling that the upper part of your arms, your upper arms, your biceps, triceps, etc., uh, more your triceps, excuse me, are a little bit closer, have contact with your rib cage, and then your lower forearms then can reach out a little bit more. Okay, so you don't have to have these arms dead straight down here. Not a prerequisite at all. Okay, so you can have a little bit of connection create that little bit of connection in the triceps with the with the top of your rib cage that will actually get your upper arm maybe even a little bit inward and then the forearms can extend out a little bit more to get that club in play okay so overall when we look at cam and what he's doing we're not looking at the golf swing which might seem a little bit extraordinary for a few of you we're looking at the setup okay and let's go quickly back through it so green line straight down from the armpit line where do the knees interact with that line okay in terms of proximity how does that line intersect with the feet? Looking at your back, your spine, do we have little curves in here? That's absolutely fine. Do we have massive excessive curves in here? That might not be so fine. We might have to look at that. And then the last thing, looking at the arm position. We want connection in those upper arms in the tricep area with the rib cage. So we might have those arms a little bit more in in terms of this view perspective. And then the forearms will be reaching out a little bit more, okay? So we wouldn't necessarily have this straight down arm action, okay? And when we actually have that arm position too, it actually creates a little bit of a softer position, which I really, really like. There's not excessive stress, okay? And it's not excessive tension in the arms. Okay, so there are just a few pointers. I like uh, what Cam Smith does um, that might help a lot of golfers out there in terms of setup positions. And we know setup positions largely decrease how we're going to move or any intention to movement in the backswing. Okay, peace out. Cheers.